Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to use Google Translate. That's right, there's more features to Google Translate than you think. It's not just the search, searching in Google saying translate it. There's actually other things it can do, and I'm going to show you how to do those things in this video. But before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps our channel. Also, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we come out with every Thursday. Now, last week, I went over this one which is called How to View Purchase History on Amazon Wishlist. I will put the link down below so you guys can check it out. Also, you notice that I'm on the article I wrote on this, and I will put the link down below too if you want to read the article also. But I am going to show you how to do this in this video using my Windows laptop using the Google browser. You, pr you can do this in other browsers, I think. I mean, even if you just search Google Translate on another browser, you probably can find it. But this is where I'm showing you how to do it. It's going to be on the Google browser. All right, let's get started. Go find Google Translate. Now, we're not going to use this one. I already had it open, but go to google.com or just open a new tab and make sure you're signed into your Google account. Uh, you might not need to be, but I usually am, so there it is. So if you look to the top right, you're going to see those Google apps, those dots they have right there, their icon. You're going to click on that, and you're going to look for Google Translate, which is basically easy to find. Mine's up close to the top because I used it often, so you're going to click on Translate. And then what it's going to do is going to bring you up the Google Translate page. This is really cool because it has a lot of options. You have text, like we all know about. We have images you can translate. You have documents you can translate. And websites. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to start with the, the normal text one. So if you wanted to type in something, so I can go, hi. And then you want to translate it to a different, like Portuguese I have it translated to. And if you want to know what that sounds like, they have a little um, speaker here you can click on. And you can't hear it because I don't have the audio sound for the um, video. But if you click on it, it tells you how to say it, which really helps. You can copy the translation. Um, and then over here, you can see the dictionary term of it. And over here, it shows it too. Um, so there's a lot of cool little options when you're translating words. or um, Like I usually use it for like emails I get, which are in foreign language. I just top, put it in here and I make sure it's a real email. Because sometimes they do email me at my work in a different language and it is a real email and it's supposed to be there it's not spam so you can do that here you can change languages by clicking the little down arrow and it gives you all the languages a lot of them and you can do that in or you can search language obviously right up here so that's how you do the text part which is really simple to do and i know you can do that you can even share it after you translate it so after you do that so that's how you do text now we're going to move on to images I'm going to click on the images. Now, you can drag and drop an image. Um, this is basically images with um, a different language on them, and you want to know what it says. Or you can browse your system. I'm going to browse my system. makes it easy. So I'm browsing. And I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to say open, and it's going to translate it. So right now, if you scroll down, it just translated it to Portuguese, which is right down here, all in Portuguese. I still can't say that, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> so you're going to go over here. Okay, so if you want to change the language, like I said, you just click here to what it is or, you know, from it detected to what it was from. You can show the original, which I like having because you can see them side by side. See that? Now you can tell the difference, which is awesome. And then you can copy the text off of it, which is really cool. And, or you can download the translation itself by just clicking download. Well, that the, so the images, any image, you can just pop it in there. You can learn what they're saying on the image, which is very helpful. Trust me, it is. I get some images I get from other countries that I work with, and it's good to have the translation if they didn't translate it for you. So there you go. So yeah, I was like you before, you change language. So this is the side that shows you what the original is. This is the side you want it translated into. So don't forget that. All right, let's move on to documents. You go to documents, click on that tab. Now, same thing. You can drag and drop the document. Or you can browse for one. I'm going to browse because I just downloaded one that I wanted to try. And it's going to be, let's see, it's this one. Now this is a recipe. Uh, and I'm going to open it up because I want to translate it into Portuguese, which is kind of weird. But So you're going to say, okay, here's the document I have in here. And you're going to go, okay. I think they also do PDFs and stuff like that, but um, the document is what I'm doing. So I will I have to double check that afterward. I'll have to see if do, I know that word documents work makes sense because it's documents. But I think they also will translate um, PDFs and stuff like that. So you're going to click on translate once you have it in there. It's going to translate it for you. And then you want to download the translation. So you're going to click download and then you can go look at it by clicking on this. It's going to open up both of them, which is always fun to show you 
Well, I didn't open both of them. I was wrong. But look, it has now been translated in Portuguese. So that's very cool. So that recipe can be translated into the language you need it to be. So that's how you do a document. Actually, let's see if we can find, if I can do it really quick. If I can't do it really quick, I won't worry about it. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to see if I can translate this. Uh, oh, oh, I got to get out of this. So you would um, get out of this, hit that X, and then I'm going to drag and drop something. I probably shouldn't try. Okay, so I can't find one right now. I'll actually just see if it even takes it. Okay, it does do PDFs. That's what I wanted to verify for you guys. So that is something you can do too. Now, the last thing Google Translate can do for you, which I think is awesome, you're going to go to the website. So choose a website you want to do. I'm going to choose this website. All right, got it. And then you're going to click this arrow to translate that website for you. And it's going to open the website. It's going to think about it. And it's going to, oh, see, it's in a different language. I, I'm not used So it's going to translate. Uh, what does it say? I don't know what that is. So we're going to say, no, I want out. Okay, I can't get out because I don't know what that says. Oh, uh, that's funny. All right. Uh, okay, so there we go. So it's translated this website into Portuguese. And like I said, you can go up here again. And you can change it to, let's see, where's Spanish? Down here somewhere. The S's, we gotta find, there it is, right there. We're gonna translate it into Spanish. As you can see, it is now, and then you gotta click this, I guess, again. So translate. Translation, so it is in translation. Okay, it didn't, well, no, it didn't. Okay, so that kind of didn't work as well as I thought it would. Okay, I said Spanish, okay. And then you're gonna say, translate, and then I'm gonna hit refresh, because sometimes it's just something about refresh, does it? Yeah, you have to refresh. So if you guys are doing that, and you change the language up here. Ah, no, it didn't do it. Well, is it going to be picky when I'm showing you guys? So I would just go back here and change it here and say I want it in Spanish. That way we can have it in a different language. There you go. We're going to do Spanish and then we're going to do it again since obviously it didn't translate that way. But now it's in Spanish. Okay, so you can do it that way. I don't know why it won't work up here when you do it that, the, this way since you wanted to change it. And maybe it's something to do with that. You guys can mess with it and figure that out. <laughs> I'm not, not going to get too much into that. So that is exactly how you can use Google Translate for all your translating needs, which is really helpful in my job. And hopefully it helps you in your job or just everyday life. But that's how easy it is to use Google Translate. Thanks for watching, guys. I know that was long, but it's worth it. It's always fun to learn new things. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.